My name is Vahid Chitos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time and being here from Brazil. I'm very, very excited. Go ahead and introduce yourself Hi, to everybody, and let's get started. Hi, um, my name is Christina. I am a, a life coach, performance coach, and my focus is on um, helping uh, women, especially women, uh, improve their lives and their self-esteem. So that's what I do. That's awesome. So let's dive into thinking, Grow Rich, and Dr. Hill's philosophies and principles. When did you start? How did you start? Oh, I started like when I was 11 years old. I was a, uh, uh, I was in school, so that's when I was first introduced to the book by one of uh, my teachers, my uh, PE teacher, actually. And um, from there, uh, that what inspired me to leave Brazil. So I left Brazil. I went to the U.S. I went to University of Washington. I uh, got my uh, degree in communications. Then I work as a PR for many celebrities in L.A. That's where you are. So, yes. And, um, and that's it. From, from there, I built my career on helping people and making uh, people successful. That's what I do. What are some of the principles that is your favorite or you utilize the most currently in your business? Or what are some of the principles that people should know the most to become more successful, especially females? I think um, it's the principle behind all the principles, which is uh, there's always something bigger than us. And the questions uh, like, who are we? What are we doing here? In what are we capable of doing? I think it always starts with those questions. And uh, what I like about Napoleon Hill is that he talks about uh, wealth more than building riches. Okay, so uh, we have to give something back. It's not just accumulating uh, money. It's not only about the money. And, uh, and many people don't know that, especially in uh, third world countries, uh, poor communities. They don't know what they're capable of. They, they have no idea who they are. So what I like about the book is like the master principle behind the book, which is, you are someone, and you create whatever you want with your mind. And so this is, for me, is, uh, I mean, the biggest thing uh, about uh, Napoleon Hill and all the, you know, getting rich uh, philosophies, mind philosophies. What are some of the most challenging things to do that when you train and coach other mentees, what are some of the common problems that keep coming up, especially for entrepreneurs, that you help them with? Are there patterns? Are there things that they're more that they need more help with, or is it all different different topics, different subjects, different help that they need? Uh, the common denominator is they don't know what they want. Most people don't know what they want. So I ask them, "What do you want?" They think they know. But they don't. So that's why people uh, don't get what they want, because they are not focused. They, they don't know what it is they're after. So once they understand what they're after, what they really want, everything is like, you know, it's like uh, Moses opening uh, the Red Sea. You know, everything is possible. But the common denominator with everyone, okay, I can assure that everyone, they don't know what they want. They think they want money, but it's not the money. The money is a way to get what they want, you know? So, yes, so they don't know. So once they know, okay, oh, I want to be accepted, okay, by who, you know? And then, oh, it's by my mother, by my father. Oh, but that's not right. That can be it. Yes, it is it. So once they realize that's what they really want, you know, it's a need, they are ready to move past that need and pursue the wanting. So to me, that, that's what I see, especially women. We women, we, most of us don't know what we want. We've been so uh, uh, told by everyone what we're supposed to want, how, how we're supposed to do things. And when it comes to ourselves, we're like, okay, what do I really want? You know, we are people pleasers by nature, most of us. So uh, we have to get past that. 
So to me, that's the common denominator with people I have uh, worked with, from celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger to, you know, a girl who's just uh, getting out of college. They don't know what they want. Is I mean, Brazil, Arnold didn't know what is, he wanted. Is okay? Brazil he didn't know what he wanted. on the verge of having an explosion in the business entrepreneurship world? Because I hear a lot of buzz. A lot of people in Brazil are trying to get out of the nine to five. The way the economy is going, they do want to get out of that and build their own business, build their own castle, mm -hmm. be their own boss, and call their own shots. Is that what's going on in Brazil today? Uh, yes, it is what is going on in Brazil. Uh, but it's like micro uh, entrepreneurship, let's put it this way. You know, most of entrepreneurs in Brazil are women. Okay, you are more than 50%. Uh, in the workforce uh, as entrepreneurs. Um, but uh, there's still a long way to go because we're still, Brazil is still in the survival mode. So people want, they, we, you know, they need to eat. Basically, that's what it is. And so when, once they, they uh, pass the threshold of, okay, now I have what to eat, then they look at themselves and say, okay, oh, oh, I can do this. Oh, I... It's possible. I didn't know it was possible. You know, we, we, are, we are crawling. We're, we're getting there. But, yes, Brazil is uh, – I think we are at, uh, at a place where India was about uh, – India and China about uh, 15, 20 years ago. That's, that's where Brazil is right now. I see a big movement happening because I know 230 million people speak Portuguese, and predominantly <laughs> they're in Brazil. So that's a big movement when you got 230 million people speaking the same language, having the same culture background, this, that. I mean, that's a that's a that's an explosion about to happen. I could definitely see it. Now, you got to think about it. What I think is going on in Brazil, which is different than India and China, is because 15, 20 years ago, they didn't have the role models. But in Brazil, You're you right. have the role model of India and China. You know what they did that worked and what they did that didn't work. So if somebody right. you know, decent, intelligent enough could just say, uh -huh. I'm not going to create my own system. Let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's just go see what worked, copy it. Let's see what didn't work. We don't want to touch it. So if that happened in you, Brazil, you're right. You're right. I think we could, we could cut their time in half time. You know, if it took them 20 years, 15 years, it could take you guys much less to get the same amount of results. So I'm I'm definitely I'm excited about Brazil. A lot of good things. I got a lot of I got a lot of homies. You should I come here. <laughs> I got a lot people. of people. Nice, warm-hearted people. Yeah, yeah definitely. And, nice, and warm-hearted people. Is it is it true that every girl in Brazil is a model? Because I see a lot of pictures on 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 my Instagram, and every other girl is a model in Brazil. Is that is that what Come I'm saying? Come on, you live in LA. You live in LA. You know that not every person in LA is an actor or an actor. Okay, it's the same with Brazil. Lots of beautiful women, uh, handsome men, but not all of us are models. Well, Just like in LA, mean. not everybody is a Hollywood star. <laughs> I'm, I'm only <laughs> seeing the models. That's all I see on Instagram. So I figured everybody's becoming a model. So that's what I thought. Oh, you're a lucky guy. Lucky you. Lucky guy. <laughs> I told my wife last week, I was like, listen, I don't know what's going on with Brazil, but I think there's an explosion in models. We should just go check it out. We should do a next trip in Brazil. She's like, well, let's do Hawaii first, and then we'll do Brazil. <laughs> yes, I like your wife. <laughs> Smart woman. <laughs> well, I've, been to, I've been to all the Hawaii. I've been to all the islands already, so it's like we're going. It's like a comfortable zone. We already know what to expect. When we go there, so I now my next. Yeah, you question. should come to Brazil. You know, should have an event here in Brazil. We yeah, should, we, we, can, we should together. together an event here in Brazil for entrepreneurs. I think it would be fun. Definitely, definitely, and I got a lot of business friends over there that would definitely love that. So here's here's my next question. If somebody is a brand new entrepreneur, it's a it's a female. They're just getting from their nine to five to a business. They're acclimating to the business world. What are some of your recommendations on what they need to do first? What are a couple of things that they need to do to be able to have a good start? Uh, 
the thing again uh, it all comes back to what you want you know you need to answer the question what do i want what do i really want to do once you have that figured out uh you know the how works itself out is you know we, we need to know to have a direction what you want to do this is the first thing and the most important thing uh we have a huge education problem here in brazil you know it's a big issue so uh it's a rich country and a very poor country at the same time so we do have lots of very intelligent clever uh, uh level minded uh, educated women but we also have lots of women poor women working in communities and very poor communities in ghettos and you know they are trying to find their way out of poverty so it, there's no there's no one answer fits them all right you know here in brazil because it, it's it, it it is uh it, it's a very unequal country so that that's that's a big thing but you why know knowing you, what you want what why did you go back if you're in us why did you go back what made you go back because i uh i have a lot to do here you know it's just like i come with a flashlight you see uh there are lots of uh there's no need for flashlights in the us anymore because all the lights are on here in brazil we still need flashlights we still need people you know to light the way and you know and a, a light of hope we need that we need that especially for women and uh, so that's why i'm here uh, i work with community poor communities i work with very wealthy people presidents of multinational companies and uh, so this is my job i have you know something to contribute a lot to contribute here in brazil in the us i would just be just like someone else another woman from the from a third world country but here here uh i am a big shot so that's why listen you keep up the good work i appreciate you taking this time out of your busy day and being with us i'm i'm definitely excited to collaborate with you i know the other day you were doing a lot of video shoots so you do yes, all the things we definitely want to participate in that hopefully maybe me and my team will definitely reach out and see what it is that we could do to to be able to help a lot of those people I'm excited. I'm definitely trying to do this with so. this uh, complete platform. I'm in love with the culture. I know there is a lot to do there so uh, count me in. I I, I want to contribute. Yeah, we be yeah, you are more than welcome. We you know, I I I need all the help I can get and I think there are great things that we can do together. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Take care. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye.